Switching gears now here at 915, uh, one in every 100 babies is born with a congenital heart defect each year. The treatment for a CDH depends on the type and severity of the defect. Joining us now with more on those treatments is Dr. Timothy Pettit from Children's Hospital. Dr. Pettit, good morning and thanks for being with us. Oh, good morning. Thank you for having me. So, so doctor, let's first talk about congenial heart defects and, and how it can impact a child's heart and in what ways. Well, you know, a lot of people don't realize that congenital heart defects uh, are the most common birth defect. And like you said, it, it affects about one out of 100 patients worldwide. And that accounts for approximately 40,000 uh, babies being born just in the United States. So you can imagine uh, worldwide how many, how many patients there are with congenital heart disease. And that disease can range in severity from um, Probably the most common common defect is a bicuspid aortic valve. Instead of having three leaflets to the aortic valve, you have two leaflets. And those valves tend to be more prone to stenosis and, and degeneration down the road. Um, and it can be also much more severe where you have our single ventricle type patients where instead of a child being born with four chambers, which is a normal heart, they're born with uh, three chambers or they're missing they're missing the ventricle either hypoplastic left heart or hypoplastic right heart syndrome and these are very serious heart conditions and they need to be diagnosed uh, preferably prenatally uh, which is why a prenatal diagnosis is so important uh, because uh, the, the lives of these babies depends upon immediate care once they're born typically we have to start them on a medication called prostaglandin uh, to help keep the ductus arteriosus open uh, to uh, allow them to get to a, a center where we can then, you know, provide surgery. But doctor, the good news is um, those those prenatal tests uh, to detect those heart the heart defects and of course the treatment uh, postnatal have have gone have come so far, right? There, there are so many more options out there, um, and, and so many more tests and treatments. Oh, absolutely. You know, our our field uh, has uh, come a long way, and and survival rate is extremely good, even with the single ventricle patients. Um, so, uh, but you know, these surgeries are complex, and uh, and and the care is, uh, you know, as complicated as as well. But you know, fortunately, uh, you know, in America, we're we're blessed with. Um, uh, having programs that can provide care, and you know, Children's Hospital in New Orleans is is one of those programs. Uh, you know, right here in New Orleans, and you know, the great thing about Children's Hospital is that you know we take all comers, despite their socioeconomic status, despite their ability to pay. Uh, we will take patients uh, with congenital heart disease and, and operate on them, which is a whole lot different than a lot of uh, developing countries where access to access to this type of specialized care um, is less than seven or eight percent. So, uh, and that's why, you know, foundations like the Heart Gift Foundation is, is so critical. And, and tell us about the Heart Gift Foundation, if you can, please. Uh, the Heart Gift Foundation, it's, uh, it's very gratifying. It's, you know, it was, um, it was started in, in Texas, in, and I believe in 2000, there, there are four chapters, there are three chapters in, in Texas. We're the only chapter outside of Texas, right here in Louisiana. Uh, and basically, we bring children from around the world uh, for this type of, uh, of life-saving surgery. And here at Children's Hospital, we've operated on 74 patients. Our, our chapter opened in 2010, so over the last 12 years, we've operated on 74 patients, and we're about to do our 75th uh, this, this coming week, which is very exciting. And it's, it's, it's amazing to see these children. They, they come, they arrive. They get off the plane. Some of them can barely walk. Some of them are, are very cyanotic and blue, depending upon the type of heart disease that they have. And uh, they're scared. The families are scared. Uh, but we have incredible volunteers and host families that will host the family. Uh, we provide care completely free of charge. Uh, and these children, they leave pink, happy, healthy uh, with their whole life ahead of them. Well, doctor, we appreciate the work that you guys are doing for the, the children here in uh, Louisiana and the children from all over the world. Uh, and we appreciate your time this morning uh, telling us all about that and the treatment options now available. Thank you very much.